I tried over 120 whiskeys over the last 365 days. And today I'm going to share with you the ones that you should try, the ones you should deny, and the ones you should buy. Let's jump in. For those of you that are new to the whiskey world, it can be very overwhelming with so much choice. Everyone has different flavors that they appreciate, different whiskeys that they enjoy, and sometimes it's hard to get a good sense, especially when you're starting out, of which whiskeys will be right for you. So today I thought I'd do something a little bit fun and I'm going to run through a list of all of the 120 plus whiskeys that I've tried in the last 365 days. Do this as a rapid fire and run through the ones, as I say, that you should try, the ones that you should deny, and ultimately the ones that I think you should buy. These are my opinions. I am not sponsored to say any particular whiskeys are better than another. These are whiskeys that I have spent my own money on, and these are my genuine thoughts and recommendations for what suits my palate. So you may agree with some, you may disagree with others, but nonetheless, I think this one is going to be fun. So with that said, let's jump in. Okay, so the first whiskey on the list is the Five Nines Cask Strength PX Sherry, which is an Australian whiskey. I would absolutely buy this whiskey. Beautiful flavor, very expensive, but incredible flavor. The next is Anok 18. I enjoyed this whiskey. I suggest try. I would not buy a bottle. Archie Rose Beauty and the Beast Stringy Bark Smoked. This one is a Australian whiskey smoked with native Australian wood. Think of it as an alternative to Scottish peated whiskey. I absolutely would buy this whiskey. One of the most unique and intriguing whiskeys that I've tried to date. Very, very unique and original if you're looking for something different. I know that one may be tricky to find. Archie Rose Blasphemy. This one isn't really a whiskey. It's very much a whiskey liqueur uh, enhanced with espresso. Um, awful, awful whiskey. Um, again, not a whiskey. Deny. Uh, Archie Rose Goody Whiskey. This is a mixture of uh, a malted rye whiskey and a single malt whiskey. Uh, try. Absolutely try this one. Very different. Archie Rose Red Gum Smoked. So this one is another of the uh, Archie Rose uh, native wood smoked whiskies. Absolutely buy. The Archie Rose Rye Malt, buy. Archie Rose Single Malt Whiskey, buy. Archie Rose Single Paddock Harvest 2018. So this is uh, barley harvested from one single paddock locally sourced in New South Wales where the Archie Rose Distillery is located. I would buy this one. It's a cask strength. Very intense, interesting flavor. I enjoyed that one a lot. Ardbeg 10, buy. If you're new to whiskey, uh, you've got to put Ardbeg 10 on your list. You have to try it. You have to buy it, okay? Get yourself Ardbeg 10. Ardbeg Ugadal, buy. Incredible whiskey, beautiful, lush flavor, cask strength, just gorgeous. Buy Aaron Port Cask Finish buy most certainly an integrity whiskey non-chill filtered natural color 50 percent abv a hundred dollars absolutely buy the bakery hill these are australian whiskies the classic malt i would absolutely buy the bakery hill classic malt cask strength buy bakery hill double wood matured in two different casks buy bakery hill peated malt Absolutely, I would buy this. There's a trend going here, isn't there? And the Bakery Hill Peated Malt Cask Strength. Gorgeous. Buy this whiskey if you can find it. It is a little tricky, but it is such a unique take on an Australian peated whiskey. It's, it's gorgeous. Great whiskey. The Balvenny 17 Double Wood. This one is extremely difficult to find. I believe it's been discontinued. If you can 
absolutely buy it. Just a gorgeous whiskey, wonderfully done, very drinkable, 43% ABV and just gorgeous flavor profile, buy. Barrel 7 Single Barrel Rye, try this one. I wouldn't buy a bottle, but absolutely worth you trying. Barrel Dovetail. Again, I would try. These are very good whiskies, but for me personally, I wouldn't fork out for an entire bottle, but absolutely worth your time to try. Uh, the Barrel Infinity Barrel Project, 58.8% uh, .8 ABV, um, great whiskey, absolutely try. The Basil Hayden's Kentucky Straight Bourbon, uh, deny weird aftertaste kind of almost sickly uh, Ben react 21 I tried the older recipe uh, deny I was very under impressed with this one actually I, I, I enjoyed the, the 12 year old so I was actually surprised that Ben react 21 deny uh, Ben react malt season 2 it was all right but uh, very much just one dimensional for me personally, so deny. Ben Riak, the 12 by interesting mix of, of three different casks and I think that's been done well. Ben Riak, the original 10 year old, try this whiskey, but I think it's not worth buying. Put your money towards the 12 year old instead. Uh, this one is gonna upset people, Bladnock Samsara. Uh, I hated it. I know a lot of people like it. I had it from a sample, not a full bottle, but I would not, I wouldn't spend a cent on it. I didn't like it at all. But more 12. This one's tricky because I think it's worth trying, but I didn't like it. I had a sample and it left an awful sort of soapy taste in my mouth and was, I've never had another whiskey do that. So for me, deny. But more 18, deep and complex, deny. I got that same taste. I tried the two samples side by side and maybe one influenced the other, but a uh, very awkward and strange aftertaste on my palate that um, has me avoiding the more altogether, actually. Brook Laddie, Port Charlotte 10, heavily peated. Absolutely buy this whiskey. If you love peat, 50% ABV, non-chill filtered, natural color. It's like $100 here in Australia. Cannot recommend this enough, buy. The Bullet 95 Straight Rye. Interesting to try a different rye, but for me, deny. Uh, the Bunahaven 12 Cask Strength, buy. Great whiskey, uh, you've probably heard a lot about it. A lot of people liking this one. I don't know, I'm gonna butcher this one. Bunahaven. Aon Anad, I don't know, A-O-N-A-D-H, uh, absolutely buy. I, I actually prefer this even more than the 12 cask strength. Very nice whiskey. Uh, Bunahaven Face Shield 2022, uh, Avan Arag, I think that's how you say it. I've probably done a horrible job of that. It was my least favorite of all of the Bunahaven that I tried, deny. Bush Mills 16 Irish Whiskey, try. It's a nice Irish whiskey, absolutely. The Kalila 12, buy. If you haven't already sort of picked up on the trend, I'm absolutely a peat head and it's an iconic Isla whiskey. You've got to try and get yourself a Kalila 12, buy. Cape Byron is a new whiskey in Byron Bay in Australia and their Chardonnay cask is gorgeous, beautiful hazelnut flavor to the whiskey. This distillery is actually run by Eddie Brook and he is mentored by Jim McEwen. Uh, Jim McEwen is ex Brook Laddie, ex Bamor, uh, ex Ardnaho, I think it is. He's one of the icons. He's an absolute legend in the industry. And if you can get yourself Cape Byron Chardonnay cask, buy it. They also have the Cape Byron original single malt by beautiful whiskey. The Khan Moore 2013 Laphroaig 8 by great experience of Laphroaig from an independent bottler. If you can get this, it's it's different, has a bit of a nuttiness and it's it's just gorgeous. Very easy drinking at 47.8% by Chivas Regal 12. Try this whiskey. This is a good everyday sipper if you just want to blend and you don't want anything too crazy and you don't want to spend a lot of money. 
I wouldn't go out and buy another bottle, um, but absolutely would try this whiskey. Chivas Regal 18, again, I would actually go and say buy this one. It's just a quintessential malt type flavor. Uh, it's a blend, but it's a lovely, uh, lovely blend. Very accessible by Chivas Regal 18. Clinlish 14, uh, for me, absolutely try, great whiskey, but I wouldn't buy it and that may upset a few people or shock a few people but there's a lot of different great stuff out there and when I'm being selective with what I spend my money on I would absolutely have it in a bar but I wouldn't buy a bottle. Coastal Stone Port Cask is an Australian whiskey if you can get your hands on it try it I don't think it's worth buying but it's a nice whiskey nonetheless. Craggenmore 12 try Cut Hill Bready Set Go is an Australian whiskey and as the name suggests, a very bread heavy flavor profile, worth trying. Dalwini 15, I'm glad that I tried it. I wouldn't buy a bottle, but absolutely try. Firkin 2010 Linkwood PX and Oloroso Sherry Cask 12, Cask Strength, buy, great whiskey. Fleurier, I think that's how you say it, single 20 cask, for whiskey and almond, uh, try it if you can get your hands on it. The Flora and Fauna Benrinus 15, buy this whiskey. Glen Geary 12, buy. Glen Murray 12, try. Nice whiskey, very simple, very approachable. I wouldn't buy another bottle, but worth trying. The Glen Scotia 15, buy. Glen Scotia 18, buy. Glen Alecky 12, buy. Glen Caddam 10, buy. Glen Caddam 15, buy. Beautiful whiskey. Glen Dronach 12, buy. Glen Dronach 15, buy. <laughs> Glen Dronach 15, tawny port finish, buy. If you can find a stunning whiskey, incredibly gorgeous whiskey, if you can find it, it won't be cheap, but absolutely worth your money, buy. Glendronach 16 Boynes Mill, I think that's how you say it, buy. Glendronach 18 Allardyce, buy, great whiskey. Glendronach 21 Parliament, buy, gorgeous whiskey, just incredible mouthfeel on this one. Glendronach Cask Strength, specifically batch nine, buy. Glendronach Portwood, buy. You can tell I'm a fan of Glendronach, right? Glendronach traditionally peated, you guessed it, buy. Glen Farkless 15, buy. Lovely sherried whiskey, very affordable. Glen Farkless 21, buy. Even better than the 15. Glen Fiddick Reserva Rum Cask 21 year old, worth trying. I wouldn't buy again. Very interesting, lots of coconut and, and those different sort of tropical flavors on this one. Not my particular favorite on a whiskey, but worth trying for a different perspective. Glen Goyne 21, buy, beautiful whiskey. Glen Livet 18, buy, nice whiskey. Very good, just approachable, lovely flavor, but we get the 40% ABV here, which is a disappointment. If you can get it a little higher, get the higher ABV. I think there's a 43% out there, buy that one. Glen Morangy 10, buy, lovely whiskey, just a gorgeous entry level, very good flavors to understand and get started on your whiskey journey. Glen Morangy 14, Kinta Rubin, buy, really nice, I liked it a lot. High West Double Rye, try this one. Highland Park 12, controversially, this whiskey is average, deny. I was so underwhelmed and disappointed with the Highland Park 12 off the back of the reputation that I'd heard they have. It was rubbish. Hyde, number three, the Aris Cask, which is an Irish whiskey deny. Iniquity Gold Batch 4 is an Australian whiskey. Uh, try it. Uh, ridiculously sweet. I, it's almost verging on being a, um, a port or a sherry to me. It's lost a lot of the malt. It's so intensely sweet. So if you've got a sweet tooth, you might like try that one. Johnny Walker Black Sherry Finish. Quite possibly the most disgusting whiskey I've ever tried in my life. It tasted artificially enhanced deny don't waste a cent on it. Killara Tawny Cask KD10 uh, buy if you can get it. Beautiful example of a Tawny Australian whiskey. 
Lagavulin 11 Offerman Edition 2 Maturity in the Guinness Cask. Buy if you can get it. Gorgeous. Lagavulin 16, all time classic. Buy, don't even question, buy. Lagavulin 8, to flip on the other side of the, uh, the equation, deny. I was super disappointed with the Lagavulin 8. It needs another eight years in the cask. Wait and buy a 16. Lagavulin Distillers Edition, specifically 2020. Buy, but I would buy any of the Distillers Edition from Lagavulin. Beautiful whiskey, even better than the 16. Laphroaig 10, buy. You're gonna either love it or hate it and you'll know where you stand once you've tried it. I, I buy it, always in the cabinet. Laphroaig 10 Sherry Oak, buy, even better. Laphroaig 16, buy. Gorgeous, different flavor for a Laphroaig. It's lovely. Laphroaig Law, buy. Laphroaig PX Cask, buy. Lark Classic Cask, buy. Lark Classic Cask Cask Strength, buy. Even better. Get the cask strength if you have to pick one of the two. Lark Symphony Number no. 1, deny. Le Chegg 18, buy. Gorgeous whiskey. Absolutely love that one. Le Chegg Sinclair, buy. Very beautiful as well. Lime Burners Port Cask, it's an Australian whiskey, deny. Macallan 12 Sherry Oak Cask, worth trying. Mars Iwai is a traditional Japanese blended whiskey, deny. Very average. Uh, Michel Couvre, I think is how you say it. It's a, a French whiskey, uh, buy. Romantic, beautiful, just a, a gorgeous whiskey. Mortlark 16, buy. Oban 14, buy. Oban Distillers Edition, try. Not as good as the 14. Overeem Stout Cask Finish, try. Overeem Flock Shots 3, deny. I was really disappointed with this one. Not a lot going on for me. Overeem Port and Sherry Cask Marriage Cask Strength, buy. Just gorgeous. Chocolate eclairs, liquid chocolate eclairs. Overeem Port Cask Matured, buy. Overeem Sherry Cask Matured, try to contrast it against the port, but spend your money on the port cask. Red Breast 12, try. Red Breast 15, try. Rolling Cask 2007 Glen Elgin 15, try. Rolling Cask 2008 Glen Rothes 12, try. Rolling Cask 2010 Linkwood 11, try. Singleton of Dufftown 12, deny. One of the worst whiskies I have ever had, near on undrinkable. It was awful. The Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, uh, 137.10 smoky, <laughs> smoky, sweetie, meaty, buy. Great whiskey, an English whiskey, beautiful. 4.289 Orkney Ghee, buy. Uh, it's a lovely whiskey. 82.37 chewing pencils in a barber shop, buy. It, it's great, just gorgeous. I love that one. Uh, Springbank 15, buy. If you can get it, buy it. You will not regret it. Starwood Nova, an Australian whiskey matured in red wine barrels. Worth trying, I wouldn't buy a full bottle. Sullivan's Cove American Oak X Tawny, super expensive. If you can get this, buy it. It is incredible, gorgeous whiskey. One of my favorites, gorgeous whiskey. Sullivan's Cove American Oak, again, buy. Just beautiful. They're very expensive, hard to come by, but incredible. Probably some of the best Australian whiskeys there are. Talisker 10, buy. You've got to know Talisker 10. Talisker 18, incredible. Buy if you can get it. And uh, I know it's raising in price and it's a little bit crazy right now, but Great whiskey. The Talisker Distillers Edition, 2021, buy. Talisker Port Re is a port finished Talisker, buy. It's better than the Distillers Edition. Uh, Westwood American Single Malt, worth trying. I wouldn't buy a bottle. The Westwood Oregon Stout Cask, however, I would buy. Gorgeous, gorgeous whiskey. Uh, Westwood Single Barrel um, Opacus, I think is how you say it, Stout Cask. This was a single cask, cask strength version, even better, gorgeous. If you can get it, buy it. Uh, the Whiskey Sponge number 54, 2003 Kalila, 18 year old single cask, 
cask strength, 53%, quite possibly the best whiskey I have ever tried. It is expensive, but I would buy it most certainly. Incredible whiskey, a fantastic whiskey on my palate. One of the best I've tried yet. And the final whiskey is the Wild Turkey Rare Breed Barrel Proof by a great example of a bourbon for a scotch drinker. So that is it. I threw in a couple of extras just past 120. I know this was a big one today. So um, I hope you like it. Something a little different. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video if this one was something that you're interested in. And let me know in the comments, have I, have I stirred you up with my opinions on these? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know what you liked on the list and what you didn't and which ones you've tried. And until then, I'll catch you on the next one on McIntyre's Malts. Bye guys.